Imagine a fish out of the water, walking on land. It sounds like something out of a fantasy novel, doesn't it? But this is not fiction. Some fish can actually leave the water and move across land. These creatures challenge our understanding of fish. Join me as we explore these fascinating land walking fish, their unique adaptations and diverse habitats, and the evolutionary journey they represent. Nature is full of surprises. Evolution constantly pushes boundaries. These fish are a testament to natural selection, thriving in both aquatic and terrestrial environments. One of the most well-known landwalking fish is the mudskipper. These creatures inhabit mudflats and mangrove forests along the coasts of Africa, Asia and Australia. With bulging eyes and powerful pectoral fins, they skip across the mud. Another landwalker is the walking catfish. Found in Southeast Asia, they use strong pectoral fins to walk on land. Some species, like the Bashir, have lungs and breathe air directly. Others, like the climbing perch, have specialized gill chambers. These adaptations are crucial for survival outside of water. How do these fish breathe and move on land? Their secret lies in remarkable adaptations. Some have modified gills to extract oxygen from air. Others have primitive lungs for breathing air. Mudskippers keep their gills moist with water. This helps them absorb oxygen from air. Movement on land is fascinating. Mudskippers use pectoral fins to move. Walking catfish wriggle and use fins. These adaptations show evolution's diversity. Landwalking fish inhabit intertidal zones, submerged at high tide and exposed at low tide. Mudflats are rich in food sources like insects and crustaceans, but also expose fish to predators like birds and snakes. Their amphibious lifestyle shows resilience and adaptability, crucial for these ecosystems. Landwalking fish offer a glimpse into the evolutionary transition from water to land. They represent an intermediate stage in this process. Ancient fish may have ventured onto land millions of years ago. Their descendants evolved into amphibians, reptiles and mammals. Studying them reveals insights into evolutionary history. They are living fossils, offering clues to the past. Scientists are fascinated by land-walking fish for the insights they provide into evolutionary processes. By studying their physiology and genetics, researchers can learn how these creatures have adapted to life on land. These studies have implications for understanding the evolution of limbs, lungs and other adaptations that allowed vertebrates to conquer terrestrial environments. Moreover, these fish offer valuable lessons about the resilience and adaptability of life. They remind us that nature is full of surprises and that evolution can produce unexpected solutions to environmental challenges. Despite their remarkable adaptations, Land-walking fish face numerous threats, habitat loss due to coastal development, pollution and climate change are taking a toll on their populations. Overfishing and the introduction of invasive species also pose significant dangers. It is crucial that we raise awareness about the plight of these unique creatures and the importance of protecting their habitats. Their decline would not only represent a loss of biodiversity, but also disrupt the delicate balance of their ecosystems. We must act now to ensure their survival for generations to come. The fate of land-walking fish is intertwined with our own. We must protect these creatures and their habitats by supporting conservation, reducing pollution and mitigating climate change. Let us work together to ensure they thrive for generations. Their future depends on our actions today. Join us at BrainBytes to learn more and take action.